Hey guys, I know it's been a while since I've posted another video on my channel and um, you know, I've just kind of been dealing with life and I'm sorry for privatizing the last video that I posted. Um, I privatized it because people that I know that have been watching it are kind of trying to figure things out that is not really any of their business. So I just decided to make it private so that it couldn't be watched over and over again and analyzed. Um, this past week has been a roller coaster for me. It's been both good and bad. Um, the last video basically just talked about a breakup I was going through and I'm still kind of going through and dealing with, um, with somebody that I really, really had deep feelings for and a deep connection for. Um, but this week, this past week, I've kind of built some strength up and I've been reading some books and I've got some books coming in the mail for me and I've been doing my own thing and kind of working on myself and that's kind of the plan right now. Um, so I, I've got that going and my journal has been exploding with things because every time I feel overwhelmed, that's where I go is my journal. Um, so I've been working on that and, um, you know, just the aftermath of the breakup I went through, like I thought I could maintain contact with him, but this week I realized that only all that does is it makes me look pathetic, number one. Number two, I'm a high value woman and anybody, any man would be lucky to have me in their life. And I feel like if I continued to talk to him, it would just be inflating his ego and rewarding his bad behavior. Because at the end of the day, I don't deserve somebody that's going to lie to me like he did. And I don't deserve somebody that's going to lie to my family and um, disrespect me and dishonor me. Especially when I don't do anything to warrant that kind of behavior. And it's just a choice that they make, a poor choice that they make. Do I forgive him? Yes, I do. But I think in order to completely heal from this and to become a better me... Um, I need to keep my distance and get my life back, basically. Um, you know, I had a life before him, and that life was a good life, and I'm trying to get back to it. Um, the good thing is my gym decided to open today, so I will be able to get back into going there. Um, because I was going there on a regular basis, um, you know, before he inserted himself into my life. And, um... You know, I, it's easy to lose your individuality and your routine when you get involved in so, with somebody else. Like, you want to spend all of your time with them that you have that's free. And that's kind of how I was and where I was going. And, like, I lost myself in this relationship. And so I'm just working on getting myself back, you know. Um, you know, thankfully, my job allows me to kind of work in my office and give me the opportunity to do that while I do my uh, tasks on the computer and stuff. And I've been ev ever so grateful for that. And the fact that I've also been able to keep my job throughout this pandemic and this coronavirus crisis, because that was really crazy. And it really did affect where I work. And I look for it to kind of affect us this fall. And that's kind of scary. But I'm not really trying to think about that right now, because quite frankly, the future scares me. And it gives me anxiety and a future without this person in my life kind of scares me because I really liked him and there was a lot of things that I was looking forward to with him, but now they're not probably going to happen. And, you know, I just have to see it for what it is and realize that he wasn't ready for a relationship with someone else. He thought he might have been, but he wasn't. And he ended up hurting me as a result. And that is an unfortunate thing. But, you know, I just realized if I continued to talk to him, it was just pathetic on my part. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm worthy of better than that. I'm worthy, worthy of better treatment than that. Um, so, you know, I'm just, you know, I kind of challenged myself this week and I decided to go complete no contact with him. And as much as I hate to be that way, I feel like it's necessary because my value is a lot greater than that. And I'm better than 
breadcrumbs from somebody, breadcrumbs from somebody's table. You know, basically that's what I was doing is getting breadcrumbs from somebody's table. And I don't need that. And I don't need that kind of drama in my life. And it's not worth the stress and it's not worth the sadness. And, you know, uh, proximity is a problem with this, but you know, I'm, I'm working through it. Um, and again, if you're, you know me and you're watching this, just respect my privacy and respect his privacy. Please stop trying to figure out, you know, who it is and all of that because it doesn't do any good. There's nothing that can be done to change what happened. And there's nothing I can do or anyone can do to change the outcome. You know, um, I have to respect his wishes and I have to forgive him for what he did to me you know, in, in the aftermath of this, and I have to move on. So in order to do that, I would res I would really appreciate it if those who know me would just not meddle in this and not try to figure out who it is. Just pray for me if you pray and just don't even go there. Don't put your nose in it because it's a private matter. And I'm, I'm really only talking about it for therapeutic reasons. It's not to put anybody down and it's not to name anybody not to name any names, um, but yeah, I'm working on getting my life back and getting things back to the way they were before this person came into my life. Um, I am more cautious now and I have trust issues now because, you know, I, I'm just sick and tired of dealing with liars. You know, I'm, I'm tired of the liars in my life and I'm going to start eliminating them, whether they be a friend or a romantic partner. I won't tolerate that kind of behavior anymore, you know, um, especially when I wanted to work things out and they end up just not, you know, they end up leaving me for the person that they cheat on me with, you know, I mean, th th there's just no, no excuse for it, you know, I wanted to do everything I could to work things out and he was unreceptive to it, you know, and that there's nothing I can do about it. You know, the only thing I can do is respect myself enough to stay away. And that's what I've decided to do, you know. Um, I'll always probably care about him and I'll always probably love him and have feelings for him, but they're going to have to be at a distance and I'm going to have to stay away because it also does me no good to find out what's going on in his life. All it does is hurt me more and dig the hole deeper that I've already put myself in. You know, um, I do wish him the best and I wish him happiness and I hope the same thing happens to me and the same thing comes to me, but I'm not gonna force it. And I don't wanna be, I don't wanna put myself somewhere where I'm not wanted, you know? That's another thing that I'm learning in this, in this lesson of life is, you know, to walk away when you're not wanted. And when somebody says, I don't want you in my life anymore, be like, okay, and walk away. And that's what I'm doing, you know. I will probably upload this this week. If I don't do it tomorrow, it'll probably be sometime this week. Um, I just thought I'd get this out there and record it um, just quickly before I went to bed, um, just to let you guys know that I'm okay. And um, I may eventually delete the video that I privatized just because it's only for me anyway. And it probably shouldn't have gone up anyway as, as well. Um, but yeah, just respect my privacy and, and I will post more content soon. Um, I don't really have a whole lot out as far as like product reviews go or anything like that. Um, I did buy some nail polish I might show from Hollow Taco and that is Simply Nail Logical. If you look her up on YouTube, that's her nail polish company. And I am happy with it overall. It wears well. Um, I might do a review on that. Um one of these days but uh you know I'm just kind of posting things as I feel necessary so like anyway right now I'm just trying to work on getting my life back and getting my individuality back um you know I'm not interested in being with anybody right now because it's just not the right time and you know unlike this individual that came into my life I actually work on getting over people before I date someone else for this very reason you know um the one mistake I can tell you that he made was choosing to open a door with me when he wasn't really ready to close the one he had open in his life that he need, needed to close, you know? Um, and so the only way to, to uh, you know, respect that is to walk away 
and have him lose access to me, you know? Um, you know, just because I, I, knew, I knew by maintaining contact it wasn't going to be a good thing and being friends only hurts more and um, it just sounded pathetic to me over time and I just realized, you know, I'm just inflating his ego and rewarding the bad behavior and it's like I'm saying, oh, you cheated on me and that's okay, but I'll still talk to you, you know, and I'll still maintain some sort, sort of relationship with you. No. No, I'm, I'm better than that, you know, I'm realizing that I'm better than that, you know, um, and everybody's better than that, male or female, if you go through somebody that cheated on you, you know, don't, don't give them the satisfaction of your attention and your time, because people like that don't deserve your attention and time, you know, especially if they choose to leave you for that person and they don't do anything to work it out with you, um, because I'm the type of person that's a mature adult and will work it out with somebody, you know, especially if, it was a one-time thing, um, but typically it's not when people do these things. It's like a pattern of behavior and, um, you know, but I'm the kind of person that's willing to work through issues with somebody and that's like, I know that's how a relationship works and it's not always sunshine and roses, but people these days just don't get that. They don't believe that. They believe in giving up at the drop of a hat and that's what frustrates me to death, you know. Nobody believes in staying married anymore and... They think it's okay to have their cake and eat it too. And I'm not the kind of person that plays those games or feeds into that. So as hard as this is, and as much as it hurts, I know that I'm doing what's best for me. And I need to start being more selfish with me and who I allow in my life and out of my life. Um, they have to earn it. They have to earn a place in my life, you know. Um, nobody knows what the future holds, but um, all I know is for the present, I need to live in it, number one. And number two, I just need to do what's best for me and care about myself only right now. Um, but anyway, I think I'm going to go ahead and sign off and go to bed. But I just thought I would do this quick vlog to update you guys on where I'm at and what's going on with my life. Um, thank you to those that have been praying for me. And uh, I hope you all are staying safe and staying home if you're supposed to still stay home. Um, but yeah, please just respect my privacy. And uh, if you know me and you're watching this, um, you know, just stop trying to figure it out. Just pray for me and hope for the best for my future and for his, if you think you know who it is. Just don't, don't meddle in it. Um, that's all I ask. So I hope you all take care and I will post more content soon.